Hello YouTube, it's me, Chuck the 45, better known as Charles Kobe. And I'm just doing a video today to let you know I got another part in for my Mavic Mini, which is this right here. You know, I just, just I love this little bird, it's off the chain, right? I did the flight too after it got through raining, but it's still raining bad. But I'll post that later on. But I just want to let y'all know that I got a packing. I got a I got another part for my Mavic Mini. So this is gonna be a little small little unboxing and show you how to put it on, right? Give me a second here to turn this off. Okay, here it is. Yeah. Little small box called Heighten Landing Gear for Mavic Mini. I don't know if you can read it, it's probably gonna be backwards on the camera, but that's okay. But anyway, I'm gonna do an unboxing. And show it. that's my dog barking again. But uh, here it is right here. I had to wash it off, but I will in a minute. But this is it. Look like a little hel helicopter. Uh, pads and stuff right little skids what I meant to say little neat it's real light it's not real heavy no instructions whatsoever in the box nothing so show you how to do this we get it it's real it's real simple right you just squeeze it squeeze it on and then squeeze it off show you how to do it so this part right here is towards the front you can tell right here your, your little battery indicator and stuff, so this is gonna be the front. You can tell by the size too, but this is gonna be the front part. Facing the front, I'm sorry. So you gotta go to the drone. You know, my little Mad Mini. Love this bird. And that's all you do, you just squeeze it on there, get one side in. And then, get one side in, and then you just squeeze it down. Until you hear that click. And see how it looks right there? You still got that little space there, you got the shield on there. You still press down right there. And see how high it's sitting up on the, off the ground now? I mean, I put it on the table, but I'm gonna do it like this. See how high it's sitting off? You know, so you gotta worry about your camera or nothing like that getting, you know, with trash or anything like that on there. So it sits up real good. It sits up real good, I like it. Puts a little bit more weight on the drone, which that's good because a little bit more weight makes it fly better in the wind and everything, high winds and stuff. But yeah, it cost me about uh, eight bucks, seven, eight bucks, something like that on eBay. You can probably get cheaper on Amazon, but you know, just, you know, do your research and search around, all right? That's it right there. And then when you want to take it off, you just squeeze it. And it comes right off. Didn't mess with my, my skin and none of that, right? Works perfect, all right? Everything's still intact. So. There it is. I'll demonstrate again how to put it on, put it off. Squeeze. Get it centered. And then, once you get it on there, you do here for the click. Hear that click? And then once you get that click in, it's on there. See? It's on there. But yeah, I love it. So it's gonna make me land a lot better in tall grass and everything like that and off the, high, off the asphalt, so I don't worry about no rocks or nothing. Getting on the camera or anything, it adds a little bit more weight, but that's just great, you know, stuff like that. And then when you get to flying, just squeeze, and it comes right off. No damage whatsoever. So, yeah, this is Tech 45. Once again, letting you know I'm getting parts in for my drone. And uh, I'll be doing some more flight with the sun sunshade that I bought last week. I did a video for that, and you'll see a little bit difference in the camera and stuff, but. Still kind of cloudy and everything. It just got through raining, but I went ahead and flew it anyway. I had to break, so I just flew around my neighborhood a little bit. But y'all see that later on the night or in the morning. But uh, want y'all to be safe with the coronavirus. My town here in Benton, right next, not too far from Little Rock, is lockdown mode. Little Rock's in a lockdown mode. We got like 65 cases of the chrono. Oh no, not the chrono! But everybody's getting it, you know. But Give it about two or three weeks. That's all that died down. Just a little disruption in the in the way you live in and you know how you do things. You're so used to going out, eating, and going places, but now everything's all locked down. And people quit hoarding a toilet paper. My goodness, you know it takes 64 rolls to wipe your butt. Really, think about somebody else in the world, okay, or in your neighborhood, the LA folks or something like that. You know, just get. Couple rolls will last you for a couple of days or a week or something. You get paid every week or every two weeks. You don't need 64 rolls to wipe your butt. You know, be nice, be considerate to people, right? But once again, this is Chuck the 45, better known Charles Kobe. And comment and subscribe, and I'll get back with you on my next little flight or next little part that I get for my drone.
Y'all be safe out there. God bless you. Talk to you later.